In DC motors, uh, there is a uh, field circuit and uh, therefore uh, field windings uh, which uh, generate the main magnetic field in the uh, DC motors and uh, there are armature windings. And depending upon the electrical connections of uh, field windings uh, and uh, uh, armature windings, DC motors can be classified uh, into different types. These types are the separately excited DC motors, shunt DC motors, permanent magnet DC motors, series DC motors and compounded DC motors. In separately excited DC motors, there are uh, two voltage sources, one voltage source to excite the field windings and another voltage source to excite the armature windings. Uh, the equivalent electrical circuit of separately excited DC motors is given by this diagram. So in separately excited DC motors, there is a voltage source which excites the armature circuit. There is another voltage source which excites the field circuit. In shunt DC motors, there is a single voltage source which excites uh, both uh, the field winding and the armature winding and equivalent electrical circuit of shunt DC motors is given by this diagram. So in shunt DC motors, there is a single voltage source which excites both the field windings and the armature circuit. These two are connected in parallel. Uh, we know the physical location of these windings. These windings are on the electromagnets and uh, this, uh, these windings are on the uh, rotor of the DC machine, armature of the DC machine. Uh, in permanent magnet uh, DC motors, uh, uh, the uh, main magnetic field is created by permanent magnets and therefore we do not have uh, field windings, uh, we only have the armature circuit in case of permanent DC motors, permanent magnet DC motors. In uh, series DC motors, field windings are connected in series with the armature windings. So the electrical connections uh, for the case of uh, series DC motors are given by this diagram. So uh, armature circuit is connected in series with the field windings and in case of series DC motors field current is the same as the armature current which is equal to the total current load current drawn by the motor. Uh, another type of DC motors is compounded DC motors. In compounded DC motors uh, on the field circuit there are uh, two parts of the field winding. One part of the field winding is in series with the armature circuit and another part of the field winding is in uh, parallel with the armature circuit. That is the equivalent electrical circuit of uh, compounded DC motors is given by this diagram. In case of compounded DC motors there are two windings on the electromagnets one part of the winding is in series with the armature circuit and another part of the winding is in parallel with the armature circuit. So there can be different variations in compounded DC motors. For example, instead of uh, placing this uh, shunt circuitry over here, we could have placed the shunt windings over here. Uh, furthermore, uh, the windings, sense of windings can be such that the magnetic field created by this winding on the electromagnet and magnetic field created by this winding on the electromagnet, they are in the same direction. That is, the MMF uh, due to this winding is in the same direction, that is uh, the direction of MMF due to this winding. And in that case, these windings are called cumulatively compounded, compounded DC motors. The other situation can be the magnetic field MMF created by this winding can be opposite to the MMF created by this winding and then uh, these windings will be called differentially compounded DC motors. So these are different variations of DC motors. Uh, we shall talk about uh, uh, these uh, two types of DC motors in more details and uh, if we uh, get a uh, time uh, we shall talk about uh, these uh, types of motors at the end of this course. Uh, one uh, important use uh, of DC motors is in speed control of uh, different uh, uh, physical systems. Therefore the performance of uh, different uh, types of DC motors can be compared by a parameter which is called speed regulation. 
Speed regulation for DC motors is defined as the speed of the motor when uh, no external mechanical load is connected to the motor minus the speed uh, of the motor uh, when rated load is connected to the uh, motor. That is, uh, speed regulation is the no load speed minus the rated load which is also called the full load of the machine and if we are interested in percent speed reg regulation then we just divide it by the rated load and multiply by 100 to get uh, percent speed regulations. So uh, this uh, speed regulation can be uh, either positive, it can also be negative. Uh, positive speed regulation means that if we increase the load connected to the motor, the speed of the motor will drop. And the negative speed regulation means that if we increase the mechanical load connected to the shaft of the motor, its speed will increase. That is quite possible in certain types of DC motors uh, as we shall discuss if we get time to uh, talk about uh, the series and compounded DC motors.